This program is brought to you by PennyMac TPO. Visit tpo.pennymac.com to learn more about becoming a partner and starting your journey to greatness. With the people, products, and technology to take you there, it's why they say at PennyMac, greatness lives here. Welcome to The Interest, I'm Mike Savino. In just one day after disappointing news about the cost of everything, from gas to groceries to housing, things haven't gotten any better. Especially when it comes to housing. Fewer and fewer people are applying for mortgages. Now the NBA is reporting today that mortgage applications have fallen for the fifth straight week. It's no surprise, with mortgage rates topping 6% for the first time since 2008. And that means rates are essentially double where they were just a year ago. Refinance applications are down 83% from what they were at that time. Higher mortgage rates have pushed refinance activity down more than 80% from last year and have contributed to more home buyers staying on the sidelines, said Joel Kahn, MBA's Associate Vice President of Economic and Industry Forecasting. But VA loan applications are up slightly this week to 11.3%. FHA loans crept up to 13.4%, and USDA loans increased nearly 1%. Government loans, which tend to be favored by first-time buyers, bucked this trend in increase over the week, driven mainly by VA and USDA loan lending activity. One way to turn the tide and grow your business is to work with underserved borrowers, educating them on the process, telling them how to improve their credit to qualify for a loan, and how they can make a smaller purchase now and turn that into their dream home later on. That education can take a lot of work, but as NMP staff writer Katie Jensen learns in the latest episode of Gated Communities, it can lead to plenty of referrals and free advertising. Your goal in life is to go up in, in finance anyway. So why would you stay in the same job for the next 40 years? You're supposed to be building. Are you working with borrowers who are on the fence about closing a loan? Benicia Poole Watson says you should encourage them to look at home buying like their career. It's about building. Because I have a lot of people who are like, I can't buy a house. I don't want to buy a house. I don't know. Buy a condo. Keep it. When you expand your family and you grow, rent it. Poole Watson is one of the top realtors in the U.S. She also founded Prime One Home Loans. In the latest episode of Gated Communities, she says lenders should see the growth potential in every customer. Everybody is important because that $100,000 borrower will turn into a $500,000 borrower who will turn into a multi-million dollar borrower eventually one day. Poole Watson knows from experience. Growing up in South Central LA, she didn't have an easy journey to where she is now. There's a lot of like gang violence. There's a lot of, you know, drugs in the neighborhood. There's a lot of homelessness. There's a lot of just, you see everything, prostitution, everything. You see all kinds of stuff growing up. Despite the tough environment, Poole Watson took her education seriously. Watson graduated high school early, got a law degree from the University of Maryland, and joined the military. However, her interest in real estate came at a young age. When I was growing up as a young girl, to keep us out of trouble, my mom did a lot of things. She would walk us through model homes on the weekends, even though we weren't buying anything. Um, when I was walking through the threshold of a house, it's like, okay, let's see if it's going to have what color paint or, you know, it was exciting. After finding her own success, Watson began helping borrowers achieve their dreams as well, specifically underserved borrowers that are looking to turn their lives around. So I have an FHA loan for 580 credit score. The average credit score is 620. So if I can go to 580 now, I'm helping people who have a few challenges. Maybe they co-sign for a friend or a brother or sister, a kid, or, you know, maybe they divorce. Maybe they're starting their life over. Someone who's not counted out, they just had something, you know, happen in their life along the way. She says that education is the key to working with underserved borrowers who may not have a lot of experience with home buying. Lenders also need to work to help borrowers. It's time consuming, I'm sorry, but it has to be done because that's the only way that we're going to reach people. This means working with customers who don't yet qualify. It also means showing you actually want to help and that you're not just there to close some loans. No, you have to hold seminars. You have to come out and, and buy coffee for the real estate agents, buy coffee for the community members, put up signs, show that you're in the community. Do it right and Poole Watson says you can get the best kind of advertising, word of mouth and referrals. You can tap into potentially big customer bases. Um, in the African-American community, our spending power is $1.6 trillion. 
We have one of the highest amounts of spending power and the lowest amounts of asset earning um, products that we actually own. You can hear of Poole Watson's story and her advice on the most recent episode of Gated Communities, the Mortgage News Network's twice a month podcast looking at how to help underserved borrowers. For the Mortgage News Network, I'm Katie Jensen. Thanks, Katie. Coming up, we'll tell you what changes mortgage bankers and home builders want from the FHA. Don't miss the largest regional mortgage show in the nation. The New England Mortgage Expo returns to Mohegan Sun in Connecticut, January 12th and 13th. See us at www.nemortgageexpo.com. Start your year with the best connections in the industry. Dozens of sessions, scores of exhibitors. It's where success is written every hour. www.nemortgageexpo.com. Welcome back. Trade groups in the home buying industry are pushing for lower mortgage premium insurance payments. The MBA joined a coalition of trade groups, including the National Association of Home Builders and for Realtors, sending a letter to the White House and Economic Council. The letter seeks support in getting the FHA to lower MPI payments for loans backed by the FHA. The group says lower MPI payments will improve borrowers' purchasing power, especially for lower and middle income first time home buyers. They note that the extra buying power is especially important now, with home prices seeing double digit increases. And as we mentioned, the average rate for the 30-year fix now exceeding 6%. The combination of higher prices and rates has put severe stress on prospective LMI and first-time homebuyers. According to the MBA's Purchase Application Payments Index, the national median mortgage payment was $1,844 in July, up by more than $460 in the first seven months of this year. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. This program was brought to you by PennyMac TPO. Visit tpo.pennymac.com to learn more about becoming a partner and starting your journey to greatness. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to mortgagenewsnetwork.com.